Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're a brand new visitor to my YouTube channel and have no idea what my, what my videos are all about, I love talking about things I'm passionate about, man. Movies, comic books, video games. I do hauls, reviews, unboxings. If that's the type of thing you're into, you may want to check out my other content. If you like what you see, do subscribe. And if you like what you see here and want to learn more about me, I have a Twitter, I have an Instagram. If you like video game related stuff, I also got a Twitch. Same username, all throughout, David A. Qua. All right, everyone. I'm looking through all my Disney DVDs and Blu-rays, and I'm like, you know what? Let's start a brand new series on my YouTube channel. Me talking about Disney movies, Disney movie franchises, reviews, uh, memories, thoughts on, on, on when these movies first came out and the, and the franchise in general and stuff like that. Let's do a video like that, all right? So, um, we're going to start with The Little Mermaid. At the time of this video, the, the new movie starring uh, Halle Bailey with Aquafina and Melissa McCarthy, that movie's not out yet, all right? It's still May of 2023. The movie's coming out very, very soon. Uh, I don't know how it does in, in, in theaters and stuff like that. I don't know how the reviews will be. It looks good to me. I'm looking forward to watching it, all right? And uh, so we're going to start with the, uh, the Little Mermaid first, all right? Uh, and then later on, we may do, I, I, I think we're going to do Bambi next, Tarzan movies, maybe do uh, Monsters, Inc., the Toy Story franchise, you know. As a matter of fact, there's already Disney videos on my YouTube channel already. Uh, I just want to add more to the series, you know. Let's, let's make like, a brand new playlist, talk about uh, the Disney movies. So we're going to start with The Little Mermaid. I got the main films right here, okay. There was a TV series and all that, too. Um... The first movie, The Little Mermaid, came out in 1989. Has Ariel right there. Jody Benson voice and, uh, voice her and sang the, uh, the lyrics and stuff. Buddy Hackey was a popular comedian and actor during the time. Uh, he was in the movie too, A Scuttle. Pat Carroll played Ursula. Okay. Uh, I got here the Platinum Edition uh, DVD. When I was a kid, my aunt had the, the VHS tape. And she was like totally into it, man. She had like t-shirts and she had like like dolls in her room and stuff like that. When, when I was, uh, this movie came out when I was like three years old. And uh, my aunt was my babysitter. And uh, she had a whole, whole bunch of uh, Little Mermaid related stuff. She had like stickers on the walls and stuff like that. Um, she was probably like in their teens during that time. All right. Still going to school. This movie was big too. It won like Oscars for like best score and best song. It got a Golden Globe and won, an, uh, won a Grammy and stuff like that. Like, this movie was big during that time, all right? The DVD has a few special pe features here. Games and activities, backstage stuff. We got uh, animated shorts. We got uh, featurettes, sneak peeks. We, uh, there, was, there was even a ride at, at, at Disney World Disneyland uh, related, to, uh, related to The Little Mermaid. So this is a two-disc DVD set, okay? I mean, you can probably watch this on, <laughs> like, like, Disney Plus or something now, right? You, you don't need to buy this anymore. You just, just, just buy Disney Plus and just, just watch it on there. But way back when, during the VHS days, like, you can only get it for a limited amount of time. Like, if you don't buy the VHS when it's in stores, they take it away. And then, and then they're like, you, you don't see it for, for like, for years, you know? And then they release it back in theaters again and release it back on, on, on uh, VHS from the Disney Vault, is what they called it, Okay. So back then, it's like, there, there is not, not like today where, where you can, oh, I'll, I'll wait for it to go on sale. I'll wait, wait for it to go on, on sale on Black Friday. There was nothing like that. If you don't buy the VHS when it first comes out in a few weeks, like, it, it just goes away. It just disappears off the shelves. You're like, man, now I'm going to be years until I watch this movie again, you know? Not like today where there's like you know, streaming services and there's like eBay and stuff like that. Like if, if, they, if they take all the DVDs and Blu-rays off the shelves, you can probably still find it some way. I mean, pay a bigger price or whatever, you know? But yeah, this movie was big. It even had a TV series, too. It ran for like three seasons. I remember watching some of the episodes. I didn't watch all the episodes of uh, The Little Mermaid. But I remember, like, uh, it used to come on very early in the morning before school. And uh, and uh, I didn't like the animation style. It wasn't bright and pretty like this one. It was, like, kind of dark. And uh, and uh, some of the stories, they weren't uh, they weren't, they were, they were, they were fun to watch. It just wasn't one of fun fun show to watch, okay? But it had, like, all the characters and stuff like that. But I, I don't know if it was canon or whatever. But it was just a little fun extra show to watch, okay? Uh, around 2000, they came out with The Little Mermaid 2, okay? I got this two-disc DVD set here, Ariel's Adventure Continue. 
in the Little Mermaid 2, uh, she, you know, she's already married. She has a kid and stuff like that named Melody. And then, um, and then uh, Melody tries to, like, uh, find, like, the history of her mom and stuff like that. Is there anything special in here? Not really. The disc don't even have... The disc art. Like, look at this. Look, look. Look at the first movie. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? It's got the pictures and stuff. This one. Meh. It's got the words on it. That's it. So you know what DVD it is. Okay. <laughs> and then Ariel's Beginning, or Little Mermaid 3. I don't know what you want to call it. Was it it's a prequel. More like Little Mermaid Zero. <laughs> uh, came out in 2008. So I got it right here. In the uh, two disc set, but I also have it uh, individually too. Okay, every tale is beginning, but only one begins under the sea. Under the sea. Look at that, King Triton got flounder right there. Um, I don't really remember much of this, this movie, but look, it's, they got deleted scenes, behind the scenes stuff, interviews, activities, music, and stuff. All right. Let's check the insides. Let's see what's inside. Okay. Look! It's got disc art. It's beautiful. Look at that. This is what they, they, they made it into later on. It just says, Ariel's beginning, right in the, in the corner right there. Not even in big letters or anything like that, either. This is what it used to look like. like it originally came out like this. And again, it has a, you know, has a nice uh, little guide right here. A scene selection. That's something that uh, I wish like Netflix would do. Is a scene selection. Like, oh, goes particularly this scene. Now you can skip, you know, like ten seconds or or fast forward and stuff like that. But it's like, I just want to see a menu and be like, I just want to jump to this scene. You know, that'd be nice. All right, so that is the Little Mermaid original animated collection. All right. I have not seen the new movie starring Halle Bailey that has Aquafina as Scuttle. Like in, in trailers, it had, uh, it had Scuttle like swimming in the water and stuff like that. I don't know what's going on there, okay? And then uh, has M Melissa McCarthy as the, uh, as Ursula. At the time of this video, as, at the time I'm, I'm recording this video, they just released a clip of her singing uh, Poor Unfortunate Souls on YouTube. I saw it. Looks nice, right? So, uh, looking forward to the future of the Little Mermaid franchise, okay? So, thank you for watching, everyone. Be sure to comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.